Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban are clearly copyright K- J.K. Rowling uh, with Bloomsbury, her publisher. Now, hello and welcome to this channel if you're not normal, not used to it. If you're used to the other channel, I'm going to show you something you've never seen before. And I will talk about Outmarge in a minute, but I just want to show you this. You never normally see the outside of the room. Well, that is why the lighting is so good at the moment, because we've got masses of snow. Right. Now, let's talk about a certain incident that occurred on the 6th of August, 1993. Aunt Marge came to see the Dursleys, and much to her chagrin, Harry Potter, and proceeded to be inflated, and proceeded also to rise into the air. Now, the question is, how is that possible? Now, what I've done is base this on Pam Ferris, the actor who played her in the film. I know it's not just about the film, but there you go. Because the question is, how much levity would you have to have to actually rise from the surface of the Earth? How much would you have to weigh? The answer is, it's all about your density. Now, Pam Ferris is 1.7 metres tall. I have assumed that Aunt Marge is here on the obesity graph that I'm showing you now. Um, that will give her a mass of 90 kilos. Now, we see that she becomes more or less spherical. It's, by the way, easier than Violet Beauregard because her fingers swell up and obviously her extremities swell up as well. So the way she's portrayed in the film is a little bit inaccurate. Um, but uh, in order for a sphere of that size to have neutral buoyancy with the atmosphere, it would need to have a density, well, the same as air. In order for it to have a density the same as air, as a sphere, she would have to have a mass of 2 kilos. Now, that's not the case because I reckon she weighs about 90 kilos. So, the question is, how big would she have to be in order to float? Well, she would actually have to have a diameter of 5.16 metres. Now, here's a diagram of Aunt Marge. She doesn't normally look like that, does she? Um, Aunt Marge as a sphere uh, with a diameter of 1.7 metres and Aunt Marge as a sphere with a diameter of 5.16 metres. You can see this is actually quite big. She's actually basically the size of this room. Now we don't know, obviously in the film she's not portrayed like that, but we don't know that she didn't actually get that big. A couple of other things. One, she's wearing tweed. Now at first I thought this wouldn't be a very suitable material to be inflated in, but in fact, it works quite well because it's a twill fabric. That is, it dodges fibres as it goes up and down, and as a result, it's quite supple and stretchy. So it actually works quite well. Um, it's quite suitable clothing for that purpose. And the other thing is that um, the Minister of Magic talks about her being punctured. Now, that means that she would reduce her the amount of gas inside her would actually escape through the puncture and she'd be okay. It wouldn't actually cause catastrophic rupture. She wouldn't pop. So that's quite interesting, and I wonder what that means. But I think, in fact, the best way of looking at this whole thing is that it's magic and that there is some form of levity pushing her up, like there's an opposite force of gravity. And what is, in fact, happening is she's rising into the air as a result of magic and possibly reduces mass as well. So... Similar situation in a way to Violet Beauregard, but also a very different situation because she's lighter than air in this case. And that's what you'd need to be lighter than air in that situation. See you tomorrow. <laughs>